All right, I finally found myself a very good camcorder, mini DV camcorder. So this is the Canon MV940 mini DV camcorder. So what makes this really good is, is that among all the MV camcorders that Canon made, this is the only one that supports input, which means it's possible to feed a video stream via the Firewire 400 port into this camcorder and have that recorded onto the mini DV cassette that's in there. So this allows um, cassettes to be duplicated from another camcorder. So this one, you, you would have noticed as well, it's got a photo function, which is why it's got memory card slot. So that accepts MMC and SD cards. So back then, if you remember back in about 2005, the uh, memory cards were only like maybe 256 megabytes or 512 megabytes uh, large. So they were meant for still photography. And that's the purpose of the uh, US, the mini USB port that's on here. So you can't use this to transfer videos in or out. All, that's, all that has to be done with FireWire 400 that runs at 400 megabits per second. Um, the other reason for that is back when the uh, uh, DV standard was out. Um, it wasn't a few years until we had USB 1.1, which which ran at um, uh, what 12 megabits per second, and USB 2.0 only came out much much later. Whereas FireWire did uh, 400 megabits per second right off the bat. So anyway, um, one issue I had with Canon camcorders is that they they all run, ran on um, non-standard voltage, so. 8.4 volts, hard to find these days, but possible. Standard C8 connector, which makes it really handy, which means I don't have to carry the uh, power cable around because that's basically uh, found anywhere. So let's just do test recording. So I'm gonna flip the screen, oops, wrong way. I'm gonna flip the screen this way so I can uh, do this with one hand. I'm gonna open the uh, camera shutter right there grab the uh, strap so i'm going to switch it to camera mode that should show us the um, uh, footage and we'll press the white button to record well we can see a red indicator on the top right of the screen which tells us it's recording I've turned on this thing called the 10 second counter, which you've just seen there. And that's basically just to uh, count up the initial recording duration, just to prevent short recordings, uh, etc. So we are now recording and we can access the uh, zoom function here using the, um, the rocker switch. So I'm going to so zoom in and zoom out and I think we've got enough footage to replay so we can hear the uh, tape drive running inside so I'm going to press the button to stop recording which is now stop so I'm going to switch the rocker switch to or the dial switch to uh, play and now we can rewind the tape and Playback what we've just recorded. So if I hit play, let's see what we see on the tape. So we are now recording and we can access the uh, zoom function here using the. Um, okay, that's what we just recorded. So in order to continue recording, at the end of the previous recording, there's a function that we can use to help us do that. So if we enter the menu, there is something called an end search. And if we execute this, it's going to, to spool the tape until it finds where the previous recording ended and it ends it in the correct position for a new recording to uh, be made. So it's found it now and it's going to uh, rewind it slightly before stopping. Tape drive running inside. So I'm going to press the 
there we go so now it's a position where we can uh, record again without overriding what we've recorded earlier okay so i had to purchase uh, two new batteries and unfortunately canon stopped making them now so these are compatible ones but as you can see the battery life is still full and i've used this quite a bit so very happy with these with these um, compatible batteries and there's also the uh, the thicker version of this one which extends the battery life so that will add a bit more bulk to the, uh, the camera so let's have a quick look at the tape so for those who don't know the uh, dv format records at 480p or dvd quality so 720 by 480 um, yeah, resolution but the bit rate is a staggering 25 megabits per second so a tape like this that can hold oops that can hold 60 minutes of footage if we do the math it holds about 11 gigabytes of of data so that's amazing because the dv standard came out in the late 90s and even by the uh yeah mid 2000s when we look at uh you know small storage devices like sd cards and all that uh they weren't even one gigabyte at the time uh so well that's the reason why why tapes had to be used back then yeah so solid state technology just just wasn't up to the uh the task at that point now the um the technology that precedes dv was uh vhs and that's obviously analog um so have i got the tape round the right way yep and after um sorry halfway through the uh dv so sort of revolution Sony made their own format called Micro MV, which uh, uses an even smaller cassette. Now, unfortunately, those camcorders cost a lot of money, so I wasn't uh, willing to to spend that sort of money on a used old unit just um, for the purpose of of learning how these things work. Um, so, so coming back to the format, if you think about it, today we can stream four K HDR at about maybe ten megabits per second, but Obviously, the problem is encoding video is very computationally intensive. And back then, the uh, CPUs on these devices were really weak. So the video had to be, video stream had to be loosely compressed, which is why we ended up with a 25 megabit per second uh, uh, stream. Um, DV supports stereo at uh, PCM by default. So 48 kilohertz at 16 bits. So that's uh, slightly better than CD quality. Um, uncompressed. Yep. So this is the compatible brand that I found online. So it's a German brand called VHBW. And just to point out, these camcorders had a lithium cell as well to keep the uh, time and date running while the battery is removed. And I had to replace that, obviously, uh, given how old this is. Right, let's quickly have a look at what other peripherals came with the unit. So we've got a whole bunch of cables here. So what this is, is a 3.5 millimeter to uh, composite video and mono output. Okay, that's a bit uh strange because they normally have the stereo one this is just a power cord some old batteries but this is what the original canon battery used to look like it's got that blue label over there see um what else this is a composite to scud converter for british television this is uh, a jessops compatible battery I'm not going to be using them because they're quite old now. Right, so this is what the um, output cord should look like. So 3.5 mil to stereo RCA with the yellow composite video. So remember, there, there aren't any uh, standalone decks for playing mini DV tapes. So back then, if you 
had video footage that you wanted to show your friends or family members, then you will take this to a television in your living room and you hook it up using these cables and you play the tape back from the unit itself. Now we have some uh, cables here. Not quite sure what this one does, but I'll find out uh, later. Mini USB, which we know the uh, purpose of. Uh, that's it, really. Yep. Quite happy to find this. Oh, I, I paid about 40 quid for this. Look at that, it's pristine. Hardly any scratches apart from maybe like that one there. I cleaned the lens, lenses I should say, including the back one, cleaned the LCD display and now it's like brand new. Very very happy with this. And I'm going to be using this um, tomorrow to uh, film um, something. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching.